TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. And right now, I'm, I'm, I'm Premier League stuff, man. I'm, I'm really deep diving in this, man. And this is, what, week five? I kept, I caught on quick because I, I, I hold steady that football, a lot of the nuances are very basketball-like. That's how I interpret them. There's a lot of stuff that's very similar to me. And I actually really like it. I ain't even going to lie. I'm mad I just started and became a fan of football. But it is what it is now, man. Let's get to it, man. Manchester United versus Arsenal. I was in Chicago this weekend. I walked into a bar to do a food review for UK food for TikTok. And I forgot that they were even playing. Packed. I had to wait in line for 20 minutes. But it was well worth it. It was the most probably the most British experience that I will ever get in America, especially like football wise. It was crazy. Um Man City versus Arsenal. I really thought Arsenal won. It was a they got a draw. But that shit don't do nothing for Liverpool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wanted an L. Get Manchester to lose. It makes it makes sense for us in the pool. You know what I'm saying? We fighting out here. Manchester City was down a man. Down a starter. Let me get that correct. Down a starter. Which which boasted boasted well for us. And I and when I turned on the game, I'm like, whoever controls the pace of this game is probably gonna win. If Man if Man if Arsenal lets Manchester slow it down and get boring, then Manchester probably gonna win. But if Arsenal can speed them up and get them out of their comfort zone, then Arsenal's gonna win. Um and I really thought Arsenal had it. They had it up until two minutes left. Down a man because Buddy got two yellow cards on a stupid, stupid foul. He like a lot is at stake. This is an early game in the season, but it's a big one. You know what I'm saying? But Stupid foul. You know what I'm saying? Boom, now you down a man. You playing 10v1. Y'all tired. Y'all don't get out to do. He kick an easy goal. And here we go. 2-2. Two, two. Great. <laughs> Great. Great. Thank you very much. Here's the last score, man. I said what I had to say about this, man. I saw Manchester. Man City just squeaking shit out at this point, man. They just, it's like nobody wants them to lose. The football guys just don't want them to lose. That's tough. <laughs> All right, on to the second game. We watched uh, Crystal Palace versus Manchester United. I'm going to be real with you, never watch Crystal Palace. But I will say, they jerseys, they home jerseys, those are my two favorite colors. That's, that's an elite jersey. That's 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 top tier jersey for a for a bottom tier team. <laughs> ah, but they got out of this with the draw. I'm not even gonna lie. This is a Manchester United should be looking at this as an L. They need to go to the drawing boards, and they cannot have another performance like this against these type of teams. These are the teams you look back. And you, these are the draws or losses you look back on like, if we would have just scored one goal, if we would have just came out there and been our regular self in try-hard mode instead of taking this team, like, playing down to them, playing down to their skill level, playing down to their record, instead of approaching them like they're undefeated. We wish we could have got this W because those are points lost at the end of the goal, at the end at, at the end of everything. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Crystal Palace, though, like, salute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Salute. Salute. Y'all should go into this. Y'all was un... Y'all have zero wins. Y'all got a draw now. Take this as a W and work on this. Work on this. Build on this. Build on this. Because at the end of the day, whatever success you have to have as a low bottom tier team, you have to take it as a W and run with it and, and keep that momentum at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Salute for this, for y'all. Manchester United, y'all tear, y'all, hey, I don't want to hear it. A draw against them is crazy. 
This is Aston Villa versus uh, Wolves. Now, y'all know how I feel about the Wolves, man. Their jersey is forever trash. And and I really am starting to think, like, the th when they put that on, the thought of how the jersey looks is really wearing on them throughout the game. Because they started this game decently. Real good, actually. Got him a quick little easy goal. Then they was playing defense. They was playing good defense. And I just, there's no explanation to what happened. 3-0 run. The last two goals and seem, seemingly really close within 10 minutes or something like that. Like they was just like, fuck it, man. If, if anybody can go to the grocery store and grip my jersey, then I'm not going to play hard. I'm not going to play hard. I, we don't deserve to win with these on. Like, I, I, there's no explanation for me. And it wasn't even like it was a crazy comeback. Like, it just happened over time. The last two goals were just very close together. They just wore them down. Aston Villa wore them down or something. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, it is what it is. I ain't going to spend too much time on this game but because I, I don't care about them. Like, I don't care who wins, but... But at the end of the day, it was a good showing from Aston Villa. They made it exciting at the end. You know what I'm saying? 3-1. That's tough. Don't get relegated. All right. Next game on the docket. The Hot Spur versus Brentford. Can anybody tell me what the Tottenham Hot... What, what's the Hot Spur mean? The Hot Spur part. Where that came from? Where that originated from? Anyway, though, good showing. Good showing from Totten Totten Tottenham. Not going to lie. I picked them to win, but Brentford had a good start, man. Goal in the first 25 seconds. That's two, two weeks in a row they hit a goal real quick. Ah, but it didn't matter, buddy. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Very high octane game. Very high possession rate for uh, the hot spurs. Got the, 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 let, let the highlights tell it. Brentford only had three, four... Uh, Attempts at goal. Hotspurs wore them down. They had about 20 attempts on the goal. The, the, of course, the, the defense is getting tired. Look at the amount of pressure that y'all getting put on y'all by, by the Hotspur. You know what I'm saying? And the most impressive player to me for the Hotspurs has got to be Sun. I don't know. Like, that's a very high IQ player. He's going to make the right play 100% of the time. He's not looking for the glory. He's not going to take a shot when he doesn't have one. He's going to make the right play. And when you got a player like that, controlling the tempo or con controlling, like, controlling the play when it gets towards the goal, like, you're in good shape. <laughs> you're in good shape. I ain't even going to lie. I wish Liverpool had him. You know what I'm saying? Because we know the Hotspur, I mean, salute. But, like, you know, in the end, where are you going to end up at? <laughs> Anywho, man, I ain't got too much to say about this game, man. It was a good game by the, by the Hotspur. They won 3-1, as you can see right here. We all know already. Salute. Liverpool next. <laughs> Do you expect anything less <laughs> but a W? What did y'all expect? You know what I'm saying? I, I, people laughed at me and my reaction on Pat, P Patreon. They said I was bitter. They said I was hurt. And you know what? I went back in my bedroom and I just thought, I thought, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to fall to get back up and go kill something. And Bournemouth was that something that we had to go kill. Shout out Darwin Nunez. Shout out du you. You scored. You're doing good. Okay. Whatever they thought about you, put it back here somewhere. And keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You know what I'm saying? And Diaz... Two goals. Two. I wanted the hat trick out you. 
You know what I'm saying? I wanted the hat trick. I wanted three. I wanted you to go to th get three on them. Put three on them. You hear me? Put three on them next time. You feel me? But hey, it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, we got the victory in convincing fashion. You know what I'm saying? And and hold on. Let's talk about the announcers announcing this game. Let's talk about the announcers announcing this game. What did Buddy say? Nunez makes difficult things look easy and easy things look extremely difficult. Sir, if you don't shut the F up, what are you even talking about? What are you even talking about? Huh? Huh? Makes difficult things look easy and easy things look diff. Shut up. Be quiet. Was that off the top of the dome? That's the worst. What are you even talking like? Can we just celebrate our goal? Everything that Liverpool did, these announcers said something negative, then said something positive. Like, just give us the positivity. Did y'all want Burnmouth to win? But when Buddy scored that goal, y'all was all on his... Y'all was on his body. Brought it back, offsides. Y'all gave him all the praise. But every time Liverpool did something good, y'all had to first start off with negativity then bring it to what they did. Just give them the credit. Stop trying to tear, stop trying to give Liverpool these backwards compliments and just give them the compliment. God damn! Don't piss me off. Three zero. Salute to Liverpool. Chelsea versus West Ham United. I honestly came into this reaction. Don't forget you can watch the full extended highlight reactions on Patreon. Link down in the description. I came into the reaction thinking it was going to be a good game. Wasn't a good game. I, and I only watched the highlights. Well, from the highlights, it was giving West Ham was sleep. Uh, all, damn near all three goals that the West uh, uh, Chelsea scored, like they were asleep. Jackson, now, don't get me wrong. Jackson is fast for Chelsea. Jackson guy is fast. But off the free kick for the first goal, nobody was in the game. Like, <laughs> nobody was in the play. Everybody was sleep still. Lackadaisical. Took advantage. Chase me now. Now you got to chase me. Even on the chase, like, nobody was running after him. Easy goal through the legs. Whoop. Second goal. Once again. Nobody's in the play. Nobody's being active. It's just a foot race at this point. Okay, I'm going to draw these defenders this way. Boom, and then I'm going to take off downfield. Kick's there for me. Y'all got to catch me at this point. Everybody's out of position. Y'all got to catch me. I'm already three, four steps ahead of y'all. I'm out. Scored again. And, uh, and then he assisted on the last goal. I don't know. I don't think West Ham came to play today. I think them boys was tired or something. I don't know what they did the night before, but it was not conducive to the way they was going to play today. And it's going to wrap it up for this week, man. I'm I'm late today, but better late than never. Salute to Liverpool for getting that win out, man. If your team lost, hey, better luck, better luck next week, buddy.